Hi, welcome to sample size estimation tutorial using Open API software for RCT and cohort studies. My name is Danish Nadeem and I am going to do voice narration for this tutorial and this tutorial is scripted by Dr. Faisal Rahim. To access this software, type www.openappy.com in the address bar. You will see the home screen of the software. Now click sample size tab and then cohort RCTs studies. You will see this interface shown in the slide. Here you need to enter different values for sample size estimation. But before entering values in this screen, we will quickly review the theory of sample size estimation for RCT and cohort study designs. Okay. The following are the determinants of sample size estimation. Power, effect size, significance level and allocation ratio. Okay, now what is power? Power is probability of finding out statistically significant difference between two intervention arms. Usually power is said to be 80% or higher. But before calculating power, you need to remember following two main points. Number one, more power study has lower the risk of having type two error. The second point is to increase the power of study, we need more subjects and sample size. The most important determinant of sample size estimation is effect size. So we are going to discuss about effect size. Effect size determine how large or strong the difference between case and control arms. It is difference of mean and proportion of events in exposed and unexposed groups. Effect size can be estimated in an unexposed group through following two ways. First one, first method is by doing a pilot study. Second one is through literature review of previous studies. While Effect size in an exposed group can be determined by following three ways. First one is Cohen classification in which it says effect size of 0 0.2 is small, 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 is moderate and 0 0.8 is large. While the second one is set by the clinician through his or her own clinical experience. And the last one, if the value is unknown, it can be set to 0 0.50 or 50%. Remember, if the effect size is large, then less number of sample size is required to find statistically significant difference. Or if effect size is small, then more sample and more power is required to find the difference between two groups. Effect size in randomized control trials can be calculated for risk or prevalence difference, mean difference, odds ratio, risk or prevalence ratio, correlation coefficient or ANOVA. Now the next determinant is level of significance or significance level. It is denoted by alpha. The value assumed for alpha is 5% or lesser. Now remember the following points. If the value of alpha is greater than 0.05, then it is considered as statistically non-significant. Or if we want to increase the significance level, then we have to decrease the value from 0.05% to 0.01%. We need more power and more sample size to increase the level of significance in our study design. The last determinant is allocation ratio. So what is allocation ratio? It is the ratio between the two study arms, exposed and unexposed group. Same ratio means one into one, yeah, one or one is to one, oh, which means you may have 100 subjects in each arm. But 
if we have different ratios like 2 is to 1 it means 200 participants or 200 sample size in one arm and 100 in second arm but you need to remember sometimes subjects in one group are lesser than another one because we don't want to harm actual patients now we are going to discuss a case study that how to calculate sample size in real scenario a medicated shoe company wants to compare the efficacy of newly manufactured medicated shoes with normal shoes in their population the aim is to achieve the target of thousand steps in each group through previous study they know that the target to achieve thousand steps was only achieved up to 20 percent in population using normal shoes now the company wants the new shoes to achieve at least 50 percent for the same target how much sample size is required for this study to find out the significant results Go to website www.openapi.com. Now you will see the interface of the website. Click on tab sample size on left side of the navigation bar. Click sample size then RCT cohort. You will see the screen where you need to enter variables. Enter value for confidence level, power, ratio to exposed to unexposed, percentage unexposed without comb. Percentage exposed with outcome. Click Calculate button for results. Now you will see sample size calculated for RCT in both arms as well as total sample size, full size, 